Hello and welcome to Science with Mr Smith. Today we're going to be making our very own rain cloud. To do this we need a big jar, we need a plate with some ice and we need a kettle with hot water. Remember if you're using a kettle with hot water we should always get adult help because we don't want to get burnt. What we're going to do is going to pour some boiling water in the bottom of the jar. About two inches will do. We're then going to put the plate with the ice on top of the jar. You should immediately see something happening. I can see it now. Can you see it? I can actually see droplets of water forming on the inside of the jar. Can you see it? We're going to leave this set up for about three minutes now and then we're going to come back and look what happens. Now you've waited three minutes and you should be able to see some things happening in the jar. If we look very very carefully we can see lots of drips running down the side and there we go you can see a drip that's our rain. So we need to think about the science behind this. What is happening? Well, if you think of this like a rain cloud, the warm air carries moisture up and hits the cold plate. At that point, we have a very special word to describe what's happening. It's con den se shun. Can you say it? Con, den, se, shun. Put it all together, the word is condensation. What I want you to think about now is things you can do with your parents or your carers. Can you think about what happens in the sky with clouds and maybe draw a picture with your parents or your carers? about what happens when it rains. The other thing that you can do is change the experiment slightly. So instead of using a ceramic plate, why not use a paper plate? Do you get the same results? If you don't think you would get the same results, why do you think you wouldn't get the same results?